On today's Pro Presenter Show, brought to you by ChurchTechU.com, other ways to key text than using the Alpha Key module. Hi, I'm Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com, where you can find hours of church tech tutorials, just like this one, courses in my exclusive community, ChurchTechU.com, because ministry loves company. I get that churches have really tight budgets. Tech often can seem like a leech, draining every last bit of wiggle room from what little you have. Maybe you want a live stream church or do iMag image magnification with lower third lyrics and sermon notes. But the prospect of spending another thousand dollars on the Alpha Key module in addition to a thousand dollars for the Blackmagic Design Ultra Studio 4K after having spent at least four hundred dollars on ProPresenter and another thousand or much more on a video switcher might just be too much. So how can you key lyrics over video on the cheap? Well, here's how I do it. Now what you'd probably like is something like this. This is, well if you're not watching this full screen you might not be able to make it out, but there is um, transparency here. Right here on the edge um, and basically underneath and that is accomplished with the alpha key module. I'm uh, sending that from ProPresenter here into PVP3 and uh, it looks really good. Um, I, I just think that's what you want to aim for but sometimes that's not in the budget. So You've got a couple of other options, and I've got them listed here. Let's go over to ProPresenter and change a couple of settings here. Okay, uh, first off, let's disable the Alpha Key module, which I have just turned on here, um, just using the, oops, wrong keyboard shortcut. Okay, so here we are in ProPresenter, and you'll notice there's no background on any of these. So let's head back over to PVP, and um, instead of Alpha, let me bring up Luma. Now when I click on Master, you'll notice that it does in fact show up here. Uh, basically what you do with Luma is you subtract all the black information. Now if I go into the color key settings, here I'm just going to click on this, uh, you can see down here I've added a color key and I changed the color that it's keying out to black and then I've tweaked the tolerance so that um, it's it doesn't it's less tolerant depending on the software you're using maybe you're using OBS maybe you're doing it in post somehow um, you might have different controls but this allows you to tweak what you see so this is a little small but Let's uh, take a look at it anyway. So if I turn the tolerance all the way up, you'll see that it starts to get all kinds of stuff, it, including part of the ProPresenter logo that I'm getting from uh, the fact that I'm using the unregistered version for this tutorial. So I have a little bit of control over how much of this black is removed. And in the original, I have a black 
line around this. So probably what I would want to do is turn that into a very dark gray and then tweak that. But I would not ever be able to do it so I get transparency. So that's one of the downsides of the Luma key. And how you, how the software does it, this tolerance may not be as easy to dial in. So it is possible that no matter what you do, you're going to lose every bit of black. And that's less than ideal. So that's the second way that you can do a key other than alpha. Uh, which requires the alpha key module and is more expensive. Luma, which removes black. Let's take a look at the third way though. Getting back to ProPresenter, I'm going to right click here and go to Edit Slide. I've already set up a chroma key green background. And you'll notice here that the color that I have chosen is here, RGB sliders. That's what I want. I want that to be as pure green as possible. That's going to help me. So turn down the red all the way, turn down the blue all the way, turn the green all the way up. Hex color, by the way, is 00FF00. So that gives us that background color. Uh, you'll notice that on the second one I have it solid black. On the first one I have that transparency. And you might think, well, Paul, that, that's a great way to do it. Now I can get my transparency back. Not exactly, so let's actually show that and head back to PVP and I'll show you what happens when we turn that on. So, if I click on the master here. set up correctly to come from ah there we go that's why that wasn't showing up okay so here we have what we're getting uh, from ProPresenter and let me make sure that I have the correct color chosen so I'm going to click on this eyedropper tool and click there And I should be able to tweak the tolerance here. And you see over here in the master that uh, that's gone away. Here, let me click that. And you'll notice that instead of this being translu translucent, sorry, my mouth doesn't want to work right right now instead of it being translucent it's actually just a darker green so that's not what we want to do at all if we were to go back over here to ProPresenter and advance to one of the ones that has the solid black background again with the uh, green you'll see that that is a much nicer look I can uh, still click over here and tweak the tolerance to get the edges just right but that is a much nicer key um, click on master yeah 
So that's a much nicer key than some of the other choices that we have, but not as good as Alpha. And uh, Chroma, by the way, doesn't have to be green or blue, although typically it is. It could also be like a uh, red magenta color. So depending on whatever works for your situation, clearly um, maybe red wouldn't be what you want to do because of this background, although it might work. Um, but you can choose whatever works best in your situation. You're not going to get the transparency, the translucency that you got with Alpha, but this is pretty good. So those are your other two options, Luma, removing the black, and Chroma, removing the green. So Chroma key and Luma key are the answer. They're not as robust and flexible as Alpha channel keys, but for free, they might just be what you need. If you like this tutorial, go ahead and subscribe and hit the little bell icon on YouTube to make sure you hear about all my videos when they come out. If you'd like to take one of my ProPresenter mini courses for free, go to tdm.fyi slash pro, the number six, mini, M-I-N-I, and sign up for the mini course of your choice for free. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com. Go out and change eternity.